Well, morning people. Another beautiful sunrise going on over here. And what we're going to talk about today? Well, London. The new merry-go-round started again. Oh, look at that sky up there. Beautiful. And the corruption, obviously. And one or two more things today. Watch on to find out what I've got to say. Welcome back, people. The grumpy old sod in the corner. <coughs> Looks like it's going to be a nice day. To, pff, bloody thing! Nice day today. So let's get this one done. So the merry ground stops again. So let party gate back on. <laughs> We're some more allegations of wrongdoing, misleading people, etc., misleading Parliament. And the new investigations will start into that. And I dare say the odd court case or two. As people try to prove themselves innocent and others try to prove them guilty. And along with that now we've got New allegations of corruption and wrongdoing against Khan, the old dictator in London there, um, <laughs> from a corrupt ex-Met commissioner. <laughs> By that I mean old Caressina Dix. Now, what am I thinking? Well, the last time that we saw all this sort of thing going on it was just another smoke screen um, after all there, there's a new PM coming in next week uh, probably followed by more taxes higher taxes higher prices higher cost of living higher price caps on energy now, are they just putting this out to the front there as a smokescreen to distract us all from that? Unfortunately, we'll have to wait to see if I'm right, won't we? And don't forget, with the uh, new fear, came, fear campaign now starting, you know, get jabbed up again for the winter, protect yourself and loved ones from the lurgy. We've been on that one before as well, haven't we? But as I've said now, London's been lost for a while. Um, especially with the Met and old dictator Khan in charge there. You know, what I'm seeing there is them turning minority groups against each other. I see them turning race against race turning ordinary day people against ordinary day people you've got the police gone rogue they're, they're hunting the streets in packs just looking for that wounded or lame individual before launching a mass attack on them <laughs> it's it's like an arena of death in London <laughs> and the elites just sit there and watch all this happening now where have I seen this before I done history at school oh yeah Rome the gladiatorial arena where they pitched people against people for entertainment. They forced people to kill people for entertainment. Those that wouldn't fight were sent into an arena with a pack of wild animals, a bit like the Met. And the elite sat up there in their big chairs, eating, drinking, partying, 
having the final say on whether those beneath them live or die. That's hell of a comparison, isn't it? But that's what I see. Unbelievable. And the new question today is, <laughs> after yesterday's news, how did a bunch of protesters get into the seat of Parliament, let alone glue themselves into it? Now, this is supposed to be a secure building. It's where Parliament sit, where the leaders sit. <laughs> now, they got in there unchallenged by the looks of it, from what I can see. Now, you stand outside a police station with a camera. You'll be swarmed with the Blue Line gang, accusing you of all sorts of crimes. Yet this lot can just walk into Parliament, into the House of Commons and glue themselves around the Speaker's chair, the seat of Parliament. <laughs> how, how does this happen? You know, the, the police too busy out arresting innocent people. Um, if you've got any answers to this or inquiries, obviously, put them on a postcard. Send them to New Scotland Yard. Victoria Embankment, London SW1A, 2J Dirt, JL. But don't forget to include your name, address, date of birth, sexual preferences, designated gender, national insurance number, bank details, proof of UK resident, and of course a photo of yourself. Because the police won't help you unless you provide that. <laughs> And now, the Civil Unrest Index. Now, I'd never heard of this crap. Um, they're easily Google, Googleable on the internet. <laughs> now, they've said in their latest report that the civil unrest in most countries around the world, I think they said in 101 countries out of 198 around the world, is going to continue to rise through this year, into next year, possibly beyond, which could end up with a breakdown of global societies. Yeah, I can totally see that, thinking about it, the way things are going. But they're putting these escalations down and the continuing of all over the world down not just to the cost of living, but to, to the corrupt, tyrannical governments pushing their narratives and agendas. Now, why haven't I heard about these things before, this group before? Hmm, strange. Um, like I said, Google um, Civil Unrest Index 2000 and 22 you'll find their up-to-date reports on there who makes these reports i don't know i haven't got a bloody clue <coughs> but uh, anyway i'll leave that to there today people it's the weekend obviously we're gonna have things to do so from skull corner <laughs> i will say thank you for your support the viewings and the comments now are going up and uh, I took a lot of time to make sure I answered everybody yesterday. But if you've got anything, rather than send a postcard to the Met, <laughs> you can always put it in a comment below. But thank you for your uh, support. My respects to each and every one of you, as always. And until the next one. Oh, don't forget. Pap Live Sunday is um, members only this week. So just be aware of that if you're trying to log in and you're not a member. Stay safe. 
Stay strong. Stay free from the fear and the propaganda. Respects, guys.